Hello and welcome to Blue Planet Red. I'm your host, Brian Corey Dobbs. Today we're going to be addressing the extraordinary claim that a perfectly smooth cylinder with perfectly circular ends has been sighted partially buried into a hillside on Mars. Now for a look at the extraordinary evidence. For those of you who'd like to look at this image for yourself, here are the source URLs that you could go and download the file. This image was taken in August 2022 on Sol 3556. The feature in question was originally discovered by a gentleman in Israel named Rami Bar Alan. Rami, this is a great find. And for those of you keeping track, on Sol 3556, there just so happened to be 352 pictures taken. So you gotta really hand it to these Mars researchers. They spend their free time sifting through hundreds if not thousands of images, and sometimes they'll find gems like we're about to present today. So if you go to NASA's website, you'll find this black and white image. It doesn't really look like anything special at first. It's not unlike most other rover photographs, just a boring, rocky, and rugged landscape. But there's something in here that just sticks out. Do you see anything that's just out of place? If you zoom in to the lower right-hand corner, what about now? There's something here that's just not like the surrounding landscape. Now, conventional magnification reveals a poor quality image. There's some sort of grid overlay. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it is possible to remove it. My friend in South Africa, Jean Ward, is a graphic designer and Mars researcher and he has the tools necessary to remove this grid. And if you remove this grid, it certainly clears up the picture. What do we see here? Arguably, it's something quite smooth, cylindrical, circular, and it appears to be buried, partially at least, in the side of this hill. Now I have to wonder, this black and white image just appears to be of low resolution, and I really don't understand what this grid overlay is all about. So my question is, is this really the best that NASA has to offer? Well, as it turns out, no. You see, NASA takes more photos than they publish on these public facing websites. You can access them, but it's not exactly well understood or well known there's something called the Analyst Notebook. And if you go into the Analyst Notebook, of which you can access by creating an account and go to the Curiosity Rover Sol 3556, go down to click Data Products and look for this ID number, 713-174-794, and you'll actually be able to get a handful of color photographs. Now think about that for a minute. Why would the color photographs be so difficult to access by the public? Arguably these are much more interesting to look at and these color photographs don't include that grid overlay. So one has to wonder just what the heck is going on? Why do we get the low resolution grid overlay black and white image of this rover photograph when NASA has better quality images in the analyst notebook. And what I find so fascinating is that immediately you can tell, not only does this object exhibit characteristics that are inconsistent with the surrounding landscape, it is arguably an entirely different color. Now, if I was driving the Curiosity rover, if I was operating it back here on Earth, I might be curious to go take a closer look. I mean, for Pete's sake, they named the thing the Curiosity rover. Do we not have curiosity about this odd cylindrical object? So if we zoom in, we can take a look at what conventional magnification will reveal, but I asked Jean Ward to use his upscaler tool, which is something that is used by NASA actually, to help improve the image quality even more so that we can get even finer resolution out of this. 
arguably this thing is such an odd feature. I would say it is a perfectly smooth cylindrical artifact. And I know what you might be thinking. Is this something that fell off of the rover? Or is this part of another robot that landed on Mars? No, it's not. This thing is meters away from the rover. And as you can see, it is partially buried into the hillside. And so then you might ask, well, what does NASA have to say about this? NASA has nothing to say about this. NASA has not commented on this one way or another, which is really unfortunate. So Rami, thanks a lot for discovering this. Great find. And for those of you who are interested in seeing more of Jean Ward's work, please visit his YouTube channel at Jean Ward. And you can also find his website at megalithicmars.com. And please feel free to watch the interview I did with Jean Ward on my YouTube channel, where we examine the top 10 discoveries that he had uh, a little while ago. Please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to take a look at my Mars Disclosure documentary titled Blue Planet Red, now streaming worldwide. You can find it on Amazon Prime, cable video on demand, Xfinity and Verizon Fios and such, as well as other streaming networks. For more information, please visit blueplanetred.net. Thank you very much. See you next time.